straight from the K. Ow. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button. Um, go on, subscribe right now. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And you. But anyway, I'm not going to be on here long. Um, I've been kind of busy lately. But anyway, I'm going to talk about um, ladies, a boy with man needs. <laughs> and I think we deal with that a lot because we like we deal with guys and you know they're not ready to step up to the plate but they come to you like they want the plate they talk about the plate you know might bring a fork maybe you know what I'm saying <laughs> but at the end of the day they don't want this they don't want to smoke so you get with them and you gotta learn how to recognize them because if you I've, I think I'm guilty too I'm really guilty I'm telling you I'm bad i mean like i really been messing up and i know better i'm 45 about to be 46 and i know the signs and anyway at the end of the day i'm talking as experience as also it's me still doing stupid stuff sometimes i mean everybody you know um you know it's still uh i'm still a flesh so but i have to keep my priorities straight because i have a lot to lose if that person don't have a lot to lose then i probably don't need to be dealing with them and then if they're not exposing what they have to lose i probably don't need to be dealing with them that's kind of the gauge i'm using now and if you don't really like you don't give me the same energy throughout the whole relationship be it a week or two days or whatever because these days it's like some fast dating they talk to you two days and you know they gone they get pure okay so that's fine. The game, you know what I'm saying? Gotta respect the game. I can't change the game. It is what it is. So I, once I see it, I know how to keep myself out the situation. But we gotta make sure women, because for our for our growth, these boys with man needs. My mom used to say that, R.I.P. to LaDonna. She used to tell me all the time. She'd say, he ain't nothing but a boy with man needs. <laughs> and I, she used to say it all the time. I'd be like, what? I mean, I know what she was talking about, but then as I experience life more and you know people I'm not a bad looking woman and you all are beautiful as well and you're not it's, it don't matter and you you attract garbage as well as good people but there's a lot of garbage out here too and they want they want a piece of the good stuff you know what I mean and at the end of the day you mess with them and they don't need nothing but the leech off of you you know or just to get something from you a place to stay uh, uh, intimate needs or uh, money all of it or maybe all three <laughs> why they get their stuff together so that's a boy a man gonna come to you as a man he's gonna already be established you gonna already have somewhere to stay he's going to take you on a date he's going to call you he's gonna be consistent it's not gonna be like uh love bombing you like he love you all day one day and then the next day he don't love you no more you know or he loving you on one day and let me tell you a little secret ladies i was involved in a relationship for six years I was in, really, I was in a marriage for 10 years. All my relationships are kind of lengthy. So m my last relationship was like six years. And I found out, that, come find out, I was always accused of cheating, but come find this person really had a lot of other relationships going on. But, and they talked to him, but I'm not the type of girl who call you all day because I'm, I'm busy. I work, you know what I'm saying? And I work in an environment that I can't be touching my phone all day. You know, I work with like human samples and stuff. So I can't touch my phone all day and like, what you doing? What were you but And then when I get off, you know, I had a family at that time. Now I do the same thing, but now I got my own business. I'm a, a small business owner now. Black women, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to us black women, small business owners. Uh, that's straight from the K plug right there. But anyway, I'm a small business owner and I still work with the human samples. So I'm not a person who's going to be bothering you all day. So why you know I'm not doing that. He can look he looks very single, you know, during the day. He can talk to people because women we have a tendency to talk to men and we think they single because they said they were single. And when uh, they don't be single, so you have to give them a, a little while to, to pay attention and to see if they really are single. Because it'd be a woman like me in the background who really don't chase after the man. I was faithful to him. I had never cheated on him much as he thought I did. I never cheated on him. And But at the end of the day, come to find out, he was talking to people behind all the time. I mean, when I checked the phone bill, you know. But I don't check up on nobody no more. Those those days, I, I don't even want to associate myself. I don't even waste my time. 
I'm just trying to teach us as women together not to waste our time with boys who have man needs. You know, that is such a waste of time. And it's oh, you're going to go through it, but you don't want to keep going through it. Like my grandma told me. She said, baby, it's all right to be a fool. You just don't want to be an old fool. <laughs> so you don't want to keep washing the same clothes over and over again. They start tearing up. And if that's what you tearing your heart up and your soul and the things that God really wants you to do out here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not no spiritual guru, but <clears throat> if you know me, I will be a freak until the day, until the dawn. <laughs> and we can, uh-uh. But at the end of the day, I need to be selective about that because I want to give it, baby. I want to give it to you. But if not, I give it to me and I keep it with me. It's all good. That's where I'm at right now because I'm mature. But I keep it moving. It's no, I, if I already see the red flags, I just, I ain't going to, I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to chase you. If I see that it was just like, you know, you just hollering at me because you, I don't know what that was about or whatever. But the, what we want to get in front of is not going that far where we don't even deal with the, the waste of time type of situations. So that's a waste of time. I don't have time for that. I have other things I could be doing besides playing with you and your lies and stories that people like to tell you, you know, and they're going to do that. We can't, I can't stop them. So I'm talking to us right now because that's what they do. It's been working for since the dinosaurs, men run game on women and it's been working. We need to get a little more smarter. It is 2023. We got all this high tech inspect the gadget bull that we do. You going to be a fake page girl and you're going to try to talk to him and you tell me what he said and blah, 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 blah. And then I'm going to go in here and search his number back. Then I'm going to um do a location check on him. Okay. And did all that. You didn't find out what you need to find out. And you learn what you need to learn. So now that we know that that happens, what is, what do we do and what do we miss? Replay it in your mind. What do we miss when they was doing it? So we won't do it again. I'm about not doing it again. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to talk about, we're not dogging nobody out or nothing. Because people, everybody out here, they got to do what they got to do to survive. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs a little light under the sun. Everybody going to do what they got to do. Men going to do what they do. And women, we need to do what we need to do. This this challenge for us. Because at the end of the day, I'm an advocate for us. Because they're going to, you know what I'm saying? They're going to do what they do. You need to find the right one. They ain't fine because the Bible says a man who finds a wife findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. You don't go out and find them. They will find you. That's why I sit back. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't coming for me then. I ain't coming. It is what it is, but I get played too. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to reduce those plays because I'm like, I'm not responding to everybody. You know what I mean? Sometimes I give people a chance and they miss, they fumble the ball. Because when you lose me, baby, you lose a good thing. And that's that. And I mean it because I work hard. But And I ain't talking about working hard. I got a good heart and I work hard. And I got an eye of the tiger. I can focus right back onto my bag. It's not a big thing for me. Because you ain't doing, ain't nobody doing nothing different in in the hip area that ain't been created. Unless you're going to spin me around and your tongue on, like I'm just going to be spinning around your tongue for 30 minutes or something. I, I want to see that. Now let me see that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I ain't seeing that, then, you know what I mean? It, it could be nice. It's nice to be touched. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I got two kids. I've been married. I've been about four relationships that last since about 10 years apiece, almost. So you just got to be real with me. I, pr I appreciate the realness more than your hips, okay? Well, all right. So let's get to the women. You, but I'm talking to us. We're going to have to come out that, that desire. Like, it'd be nice and stuff. Then we go fall into the game. Then we want to talk to the fine way he at and stalk him. And I like to say, can't be in my feelings. We ain't riding by no spine on no. Let's get some money and get. And it's one, two, three, four, five. It is. Now, you don't need one, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? You just need to chill out and let him who find a wife find of a good thing. <laughs> you need to chill out and let somebody come to you. It's not a big thing. I'm in the house right now. I'm working on my business right now. I'm, I go back to work on Monday. Right now, I'm working on Straight From The K. Uh, I got an upload and promo. I'm expecting some, uh, what you call it? some um shipments to come in and i get back in that mode until somebody is really for real like then i take you out do you like roses i'm so simple but people mess it up and women whatever your love language is express it be honest about yourself okay don't just take anything we do that too quickly and then we looking crazy because we on somebody's show talking about i don't know he took as soon as i got pregnant he took a picture with the girl you know i, I know he did because that's what they do 
if you can, you know, Ray Ray, or Black, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, um, what's, what's the other nicknames that we have? Red? Well, I think that'd be us most of the time. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to take time because I'm going to tell you how that affects you. It affects your pockets. It affects your ultimate bottom line income. It affects how your children depict seeing you and in the future what they may pick. And then you at their door when you're older trying to get in the middle of a relationship that they don't know nothing. All they know is what they see. We do what's familiar. Even though they may say, I'm not going to act like my mama. I can't believe she took that from that man. Secretly, while you're getting played, your children can see it. And they're going to say they ain't going to do it. But it's familiar. Many days I said I wasn't going to do certain things. And I I did what's familiar. So it ended up being familiar. So we don't want our girls, our young men, thinking that we could just do anything. People could just do anything to people, anybody. You know what I mean? And so, therefore, we don't want boy with man needs. You understand what I'm saying? So boy with man needs is a boy. You know, he he don't have, he don't know how to handle a grown woman. You know what I'm saying? And I mean grown woman, I mean like a person who handles their bills. They, um... They you know they know how to cook, you know, like myself, you know, cook and take care of their family and want to see about them. Uh, if, if they're in the picture, you, you take care of your man too. But they want you to take care of them. They in line with the snacks. You know what I'm saying? You pass out the snacks to the kids, they right behind them. Matter of fact, they didn't took the snacks and you ain't got no snacks no more. <laughs> you ain't got no snacks no more because the boy with the man needs... He boy during the day eating your snacks up while you at work. And then he a man when you come home, he want to lay you down. Then get online and swipe, 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 swipe. Swipe it away. Just liking, 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 liking. DM and DM and DM and everyone. He for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want that. And that keeps our mental health together. Because that affects how you drive, the uh, um, decisions you make. When you're always hyped up and in your emotions, worrying about what Ray Ray over there doing and why Ray Ray ain't come home last night and who this girl liking all Ray Ray pictures and girl, that's a lot of energy. You know, there's no energy on a boy with man needs. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to talk about that because I know that that weight brings us down. It, and we have to recognize when we see them. And there's a lot of them. So it's like, we might well assume that's what they is. I don't care they feed them with gray hair. They can still be a boy with man needs. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mama, R.I.P. LaDonna. I love you for that speech she's always telling me. Girl, he ain't nothing but a boy with man needs. He ain't nothing but a couch surfer. <laughs> she said, she called some men couch surfer. <laughs> you got you a couch surfer. If you got you a man going couch to couch, you know it's time to give. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to talk to them. Like, let's see what you You do need to go to their spot at least one time and see where they really residing. Because they always want their sister or oh, they stay with their brother or something like that. Or they might stay in a hotel, let them tell it. You know. Or a condo far, far, far away, like Shrek. Like, well, let me come over there. Okay, let me see. Because we need, you know, I need to see what's going on with you. Because nine times, sometimes either they are, are, they usually are in another relationship and they're trying to monkey vine over to you being a boy with a man need. You know what I'm saying? The man need is that I want to look good. I want to maintain this look I got. But I don't want to pay no rent or bills. And I like to have sex. And, I, and then I think you, like my mama, Mama, <laughs> I think you would do for me until I find the next girl. A boy with man needs. Sing it with me. A boy with man needs. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm a boy with man needs. Oh, yeah. All right, shout out. Uh, check my um, promo after this, and uh, it's straight. And um, I took no. I'm sorry to offend anybody. They realize they're a boy with man knees, or you're laying next to a boy with man knees on the phone. You're like, that doesn't sound like somebody I know. But anyway, I appreciate you, and I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.